Aloha! We're in Kailua Kona on the sunny Kona coast of Hawaii where we're going to take a tour of Jeannie Cooper's flourishing vanilla bean farm. These orchids are grown in a spectacular setting on the lower slopes of Mount Hualalai in a 4,000 square foot shade house located on a beautiful five acre gated estate. So what are you doing here, Jeannie? So I'm taking off the little cap and taking out the pollen. And then I have to go back in and go up and under the pollen cap, where the pollen cap was. And I put it in like that, press it together. And there it is. You've just pollinated the flower. Children do this in the tropics. Is that right? Uh-huh. And I don't think they the... use a toothpick either. Wow. I guess once you get the hang of it, not too difficult. Cool, huh? Yes. I'll show you something else about this. There are clumps and what I call sub-clumps. This is... Here's a clump of flowers. Here's a clump of flowers, and more clumps of flowers, and I can pollinate until I get five to seven beans on each clump, and then I have to stop. But that's okay, because as you can tell, I have a lot of beans. Yes, and so once you get to that point, that's just... Then, that's then a... I just take, a, take off all the flowers. Okay. Wow. And let's take a look at some of these beans that we have over here. There's some just everywhere. All these beans. I have James here because he gets on the ladder and does the tall ones for me. And there's James. That's James. Very important part of this operation. Yes. He keeps me going. Come on over here. Look at these beans. Wow, look at these. Look at all these vanilla beans. They must really love this climate. They love my shade house. The shade house, that's right. This is a 4,000 square foot shade house with an irrigation system and two types of irrigation. And there's a flower right there. And so how long does it usually take between the pollination of the flower to the actual uh, bean harvest? About six months. Six months. But as you can tell, it's not really hard work. It gets a little tedious when, you work, when you're doing it for a long time. Mm-hmm. But when you sell it for ten dollars a bean, you keep going. That's right. That will keep you working. <laughs> that will keep you working. And look at all these beans. So this all started as an idea that you and your late husband Martin Cooper had. Right. Is that right? Right. And you just started with one plant and went from there, huh? And it, yep. it became all this. Have you already done this row? Yeah. Oh, 
this is just, this is beautiful. All these beans. And how often do these plants flower? Is it just a few once months? Once a year. Just once a year? Yeah, one crop a year. We'll see, get a look at James up here on the, on the ladder. So you're out here pretty much every day when these, flower, when these plants are flowering, huh James? Every day for the past six weeks. Wow. It's, it's slowing down considerably. They start out with a flourish and then once you pollinate everything that can be pollinated, that's, that's yeah. it. I can see you've done a lot of pollinating with all these beans Lots here. Lots of beans. <laughs> Oh really? Lots of geckos. They like these plants. Yeah, they live. They 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 live in. They hide in the tubing. Oh, do they? Oh. They hide, it's easy to hide under the leaves, and they just. Yeah. Yes. Keeps the bugs off the plants, I'm sure. Yeah. But there are ants on the in the flower that eat uh, a sap that a naturally produced sap from the. From the flower, which mm -hmm. is a good thing. You see the ants, and they're doing their job. Oh, I see. And so, these plants will not pollinate themselves. There's, there's bees can't pollinate know. them, or it's, it's just you just want to make sure everything gets pollinated. Is that? I, I don't know how it will be done in nature here. Mm -hmm. Maybe in Madagascar, it's different. Or Mexico, yeah. Mexico, it's different bugs that do it, but. Here. Here they need our little help with the toothpick. It's by hand, the toothpick method. It's amazing. You want to know something else that's nice about the vanilla is that there, besides slugs, mm -hmm. there's no um, insects or bugs that like it. Is that right? Yeah. They don't. They don't like to eat the plant. I see. Right. We've never seen anything on it. Slugs, but not on the plant. I've seen slugs on that. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Pretty that's, safe. that's amazing with the, with the beetle borer and all the problems that we're having here in Kona. <laughs> it's nice I to know, have a crop a... that you don't have to battle. Yeah. All the insects. Oh, right here, yeah. Just to reduce the weight off the... Yeah, there's so many beans. So much... Plants are just so... There's one here. Just, uh... These bamboo stakes help support the weight of these massive vanilla plants. The bouquet. Yes, <laughs> yes, I'd love to. Okay, let's have a look. We call these the bouquets. Oh, I see. Look at all those flowers. Yeah. It's just 
Wow. And look at the length of this bean. Obviously, it's one of the first ones. Whoa. Yeah, that's the way they're all going to be. They all, that's about, that's, just, that's how large they all grow to. Yeah. So they have a long way to go. Probably go. So this is the bouquet. Well, Jeannie and James, thank you very much for this beautiful tour. <laughs> Your vanilla farm gained a lot of knowledge. Our pleasure.